wanted to come and do a thrifting tips video. I had did a thrifting haul the other day and um, a couple of people asked me for some tips, so here they go. First, let me show you. This is a one of my latest thrifted finds, and you can see it's studded on the shoulders, and it's nice and flowy, and just paired with um, just some black um, tights. Okay. Anyways, I have my iPad here. Sorry, slash, I guess. Um, I have some notes on here. But anyways, let me go ahead <laughs> and get started. The first one is um, you want to research your local thrift stores. If you are new to thrifting or even new to the area, you might not know where to go. So if you just hit Google then um, and put in your location, it should pull up some thrift stores and also there should be some ratings so you can learn about the thrift store before you go. As you all may or may not know, every thrift store is not created equally. Some are, uh, whereas others are just divine, like they're just great, great, great finds in every store every time that you go. So um, there's an app. Um, for your phone. Well, I know it's on iPhones. I'm not sure if it's on Droids or other phones, but it's called Thrift Buddy, and you can actually allow it to access your um, location where you're at at the moment, and it will pull up like a long list of thrift stores um, where you are, and from there it will give you the phone number, the hours, and also some of the items that they sell. So if you're not looking for clothing or if you're looking for furniture, it'll have that in the listing. Also, um, there's an area where you can put a list, so that's good to create a list for the things that you're looking for. The next thing is since you have their phone numbers, you might want to call or ask around if others that you know are into thrifting. And just ask if there's certain days that you should go, like if there's certain sale days. I know I've seen that some places have 99 cents days. Um, local Salvation Army has 50% off on all clothing on Wednesdays. So that's actually the only day that I go is Wednesdays. Why pay full price? Even though full price is like $3, $4 when I can get it for half off. So um, I love going on those days. The only thing though, when you go on sale days at thrift stores, everybody goes on those days. So it's a lot more traffic in and out the store and then it's kind of people in your way while you're trying to go through. Um, the aisle, that I don't like, so I do try to go a lot earlier, like I wouldn't wait until like 5 or 6 o'clock when most people are getting out for work, because then it is going to be busy, and people might even try to take some of the things that you buy, so that's just a headache. Um, the third is get inspiration. You want to look at magazines, online, if you have a favorite designer, you want to look to see what they have current, their upcoming season, and even the season after that. As you all know, fashion repeats itself. So a lot of the items that are coming back out have already been in. So you might find some gorgeous, gorgeous pieces um, that are vintage that are perfect for right now. Um, I know a lot of people are going to get um, mom jeans from their stores and they're basically turning them into high-waisted jeans. So you're going to get a pair of jeans from the thrift store for like four or five dollars. Whereas if you got the same pair of jeans, um, depending on the brand, it could be up to $30, if not more than that. So um, you want to make sure that you get inspiration. And even if it's not the same item, look at like the, um, the fabrics that are in, the different colors. I know for the last couple of, probably the last two spring and summer floral was back. Oh my gosh, I hate floral. I hate it with a passion. But because I've seen it so much, like now I'm actually starting to like it. And that's from the 80s. Like everything was floral and bright in the 80s. So that's coming back. So just think about that. The next tip is to make a list. Now when you make this list, don't think that you're going to find everything on this list in one visit or even at all. It's just like when you go to the mall, you have like a running list in your mind on things that you're looking for. Um, it's a little different for thrift stores, so you might not find the exact color or the exact item that you're looking for. But if you have a running list, at least you know that's what you're going to find. And I don't know if I said already, but the app Thrift Buddy, it has um, 
it has a space for you to put your lips in there so it'll be with you. I put mine in the notes section um, on my iPhone so I already know what I'm looking for. Like, um, usually I have blazers, like every time I go I look for blazers. Blazers, right now I'm looking for um, high waisted jeans, high waisted pants, and scarves. Because I want to get into um, doing like the turbulence around my head. And then I've seen um, a DIY YouTube for making, um, what is it, uh, a pillowcase out of a scarf. And I'm just like, oh my god, it's genius. And I'll put the link for that below if you're interested in something like that also. Um, the next thing is wear comfortable clothing. When you go to thrift stores, you don't want to be wearing high heels and just a whole bunch of bulky or baggy clothing. Um, usually I'll have on uh, a little shirt, like even this shirt that I have on right now is just too much. It, it's too much. Um, I would have like a tight fitting shirt and some leggings, maybe like a tight pair of jeans but I don't have on leggings and just like a basic shoe. Usually I'll have on my Uggs because I can just lift those on and off. But the reason for that is you want to make sure that you're just able to walk through the aisles. Um, nothing snagging on you. You don't know. You don't know where some of the pieces stuff has been. Or even um, a lot of people don't take care of the items in the store because they know that they're thrifted or it doesn't cost a lot of money. When I say a lot of people, I'm talking about like the other customers also. So they'll just throw things back up there or like the hanger might be hanging out. You don't want to snag your clothes. But also, a lot of thrift stores don't have dressing rooms, so, sorry. A lot of times, I'll try on the items right there and there in the aisle, and I'll enter the picture. Um, I know I look crazy, but I need to try these items on before I leave. But plus, you, the main thing for that is you want to be comfortable. When you want to thrift stores, you're not going to be in there like a quick in and out. And if you do, you're going to miss some really good finds. So since you're going to be in there for a while, you want to make sure that you're comfortable. You don't want to have a big baggy purse um, that's in the way. Or um, you don't want to leave in your cart or anything like that. So you just want to make sure that you're comfortable. You don't have a lot of layers on so you can easily just try things on and um, see if the items fit. The next thing is, number six, is have time. Like I said, you can't really run in and out of a thrift store because you don't know what's in there. You want to make sure that you have enough time to browse in the entire store. When I say browse, like I go from top to bottom, like from one rack, like I go through every single hanger on that rack. Um, I go women's, children's, women's plus size, and in children's I'm looking at little girls, little boys, and not even for my kids, like I'm looking for myself. Um, the men's, um, and then the accessories. But mainly when I'm going through every rack, um, every item on the rack, I'm looking for different brands because sometimes you can find like, some really great brands in there that you wouldn't expect to be in the thrift store. I found as being a queen item, and I was just like, oh wow, um, Versace and Chanel. And those are just like, extreme finds in a thrift store but um and i was just going through every single item that can be tedious but if you're really looking for something nice um this is what you sometimes um okay the next thing is to set a budget because it's a thrift store and everything is cheap, you don't want to go in there and ball out of control and spend like $150 on a whole bunch of stuff that you're not going to wear. What I typically do is I bring cash. Not every thrift store accepts um, check cards, debits, credit cards. So um, I bring cash and I set a budget per store. Unless it's something that I absolutely have to have and I'm already over my budget, then I'll get it. But if not, I stick to budget. My budget is $20 per store. Um, I actually play, play a little game. And the game is if I can't find up to $20, I'm not getting anything. And I know it sounds kind of down, but it just makes me look a little harder. So um, if I find things that I like, but do I really love it? And then just to make sure that I add up to $20. And I usually do really, really well with that budget. Um, 
The next is eight. Have an open mind. And with this is, you might see an item and it's kind of ugly. But, mm, I don't know. But if you have an open mind about it, you can actually think about the items that you have at home and how you can pair it or how you can dress it up, dress it down, and make it your own. Don't look at sizes. Just because something, an item at the mall fits you and it's a size 6 doesn't mean that a size 6 that's vintage at the thrift store is going to fit you the same. Um, just like, or you might even be going for the baggy look, so don't even look at sizes. If it's something that you love and you know that you might be able to alter it the way that you want to, then go ahead and get it. Now, if you have no idea how that's going to be altered or don't get it because you're just wasting your time and you're going to be stuck with something that you're probably going to end up donating back to um, the thrift store. No ten. if you love it, get it. Do not leave the thrift store and you left something behind that you absolutely love. Just get it. You are going to be thinking about that item and it's going to be gone. More than likely, someone else loved it too and they went ahead and snatched it up after you left. Um, maybe two weeks ago, I went to Salvation Army and I saw these pants and they were just, oh my god, like I'm still upset myself. They were just so cute and I had sent a picture of them to my cousin and I was like, oh my god, I love these and she was just like, um, but they were me, like they were so my style and they were only $1.50 and I don't, I know what it is, I didn't get them because I didn't get anything else, but that should have been that one rule where if you love it, get it. How about maybe two or three days later, I saw Beyonce with the same pants on, oh, I love Beyonce, she's my sister in my head. So I was just, I'm still upset that I did not get those pants. And I even went back, and of course they were gone. Of course they were gone. But yeah, so if you love it, get it. Get it, get it, get it. Um, number 11, examine every item. Remember that people have gotten rid of some of these things for a reason. So there might be some holes, there might be some tears. Um, just examine it. You don't want to get something thinking that it's perfect or it's a perfect sign and there's like a button missing. Perfect example. Two weeks ago when I was at the store, I got this shirt. It was the really cute H&M shirt. It was blue and white and I'll show you guys later. But um, there was a button missing and I didn't realize it until the other day. And I was just like, oh. but I really like this shirt. But the way that I plan on wearing the shirt, you're not going to be able to tell that the button is missing. Even in a case like that, what you could do is take the button off of somewhere else on the shirt. And because of the button, I'm sure I might take it off of the last button um, that I probably would never button anyway, or no one would even notice that it's unbuttoned. Um, so look at that. Also, if there's any um, stains on the shirt. Now, if it's a shirt that you're thinking about DIYing um, into something else or cropping it, and there's a stain at the bottom that you don't plan to use, go ahead and get it. It's not hurting anything, or if it's something you're going to distress. You're not going to be able to see that imperfection, then that's fine. But you want to make sure that the items that you're getting that you don't want to do anything to, that those items are perfect. Um, the next is try everything on. Um, I get a little weird and OCD in thrift stores because I'm just like, oh, it's so dirty. And even if it's not dirty, but just the fact that I don't know if these items are washed, I don't know the person forming or people just in the store touching it it just it wears me out but I do try everything on um, a lot of thrift stores do not have a return or exchange policy and I don't want to just start spending a whole bunch of money even though it's like $20, $30 and I have no use for the item so try things on like I said before some of the um, thrift stores don't have dressing rooms so you might have to try it on in the aisle but just you want to make sure that it fits you and it's flattering to your body Okay, so for tip 13 is you want to make sure that you bring hand sanitizer and wipes. This is because it is dirty. Um, just imagine, you don't know who wore these clothing. Um, you don't know whether it was washed or not. You don't know how long it was in the warehouse or if they just dropped it off in a bit. You don't know. So just make sure that you have your hand sanitizer and your wipes. So 
wipe off your hands. Um, I know for me, it just helps me not feel as gross and itchy <laughs> in the thrift store. Um, I know sometimes when I'm in there, my hands just feel kind of gritty, so I just use it. That's just, that's just me. But I think that it is very sanitizer and hygienic, and others should do that as well. The last, oh, it's not the last, sorry, 14 is to make sure you wash your clothes immediately. Immediately, immediately. Do that. <laughs> what I do is I get my bag, I close it up tight, and I throw it in my trunk, and I do that just in case. You, you never know. You never know who wore the clothes, what type of person they were, um, just cleanliness. It is the outrage of bed bugs in a lot of areas. It's getting gross to think about it. Um, so you just want to make sure that you, you keep it out of like your main part of your car, but keep it in your trunk. Excuse me. And then as soon as you get in the house, I just dump for the most part the things in the washing machine and let it soak. Let it soak overnight in borax, um, detergent, um, distilled <laughs> vinegar, and just let it sit. And then I'll wash it. And then I wash it again, and then I put it in the dryer. You just want to make sure that you wash it. Um, even though these are great finds, you do not know where these items were. You don't know how long they were in the warehouse. You just, you just don't know. And the last tip is to go often. Thrift stores get um, inventory in daily to weekly. And most of these items are one of a kind. You're not gonna find them anywhere else. You might go to one thrift store today, go to another one tomorrow. Just go often and have fun. Save some money, get some great things, and look great. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, these types of videos, thrifting hauls, thrifting tips, whatever, thumbs up, like, subscribe.